This is a key from a 1990s BMW, in my case a 1992 E36, and it works perfectly, with the exception that it should have a little light in here that lights up, and it doesn't. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace both the bulb and the battery and get this key lighting up like it should. Let's get to it. So as well as the key itself, here are the three tools or things that you'll need to do this job. Firstly, a small flat bladed screwdriver in order to prise out the battery from the key. A replacement battery, which is an L1560, shown here. I'll put a link in the description for where I bought mine. And also a replacement bulb. Again, link in the description below. Let me show you how to get it all apart and get it working. So with the key laid flat, the first thing to do is remove the battery compartment, which comes out of the key. In order to do that, you need to press on the BMW logo in the middle of the key, and then holding the blade here, you push and it slides out of the key like that. That part of the key we no longer need, and it's this that contains the bulb and the battery. And in order to get that apart, you need to insert your flat bladed screwdriver here. So that's where the bulb would normally sit. In my case, it's actually, the glass is broken completely. Um, and you need to just pop your screwdriver in here and just be very gentle and twist because these keys are now very old. And just very, as I say, gently just pop in there. And then there is another one on the other side. Just need to pop that in there and then then what you need to do is just gently prise it apart. Now it is sprung loaded and it may ping out. So just be careful. There's a bulb, a battery and a spring in here. And then once you've got your both tabs clear, then just prise gently and out it all comes. So that's the button and the case. And then when we, what we've got here is our L1560 or V, this one's labelled up V625. And then there's the bulb, and then there's the spring, which is part of the switch mechanism. As you can see here, or maybe you can't if I get it really close, you can see that the glass on mine is completely missing. Um, it's obviously got broken in the past. So with everything apart, I can now replace things. So the old bulb and the old battery just fall out, um, particularly in my case, because there's no glass on this one. And we don't want to get them confused, so let's put them out of the way. And then using this new bulb, just be a bit gentle. And it, it's very obvious where it slots in. And it slots in, there's a little piece where it rests up against here on the metal spring, if I get my screwdriver, just rests in there and it, the glass is then not exposed, so the glass doesn't protrude. And then using the bulb, the, uh, the positive sits at the top and the negative sits on the bottom. And then it should just be a case of putting it together and we can actually just test it um, to check that it works because you can make the connection with the battery and you can see the bulb lights up. It's not very bright, this is some old school tech and you could potentially replace this bulb with an LED unit to make it much brighter. But now that I know that that is working, it is then just a case of getting the original other half of the case, putting the BMW logo piece back in. Um, that has got a little, um, whatever that is, key, I suppose, that makes, sure, makes it line up in only one specific location. So it lines up here and then it's just a case of putting that back in, making sure that everything lines up. And then clipping it together with, through those plastic clips. Bulb's still working, it's a good sign. Let's just check that again, there we go. And then just popping that back together, just check it's working okay. And then getting your key and then to reinsert it into the key again you press in the logo like you did before and just hold against the pressure and slot it in and there we have our working 90s bmw key
So there we go then, that's how to replace the battery and the bulb in your 90s lighty up BMW key. Hope you find that useful. If you've got an early 90s BMW, send me a note, let me know what you've got. I'm always interested to hear what other cars people have. And if that was useful and it's helped you out, let me know in the comments, send me a like, hit the subscribe button, it's all really helpful. In the meantime though, I look forward to coming to you in a new video very soon. Thanks and goodbye.